you all know that in the last one year, and probably a bit earlier than that, some life-saving drugs, which are not connected with corona, which are very expensive, which affect children and so on, like the muscular uh, atrophy. So in those uh, situations, the entire process of coming up to the finance minister, who is otherwise authorized by the council to give exemptions, does consume time. And as a result, many of the children are really going through, and the parents are going through a lot of tension whether it will be available, because the drug itself costs several uh, crores, and over that the taxation is very severe. So exemptions have been given for such drugs. There won't be any tax GST on them. I am giving the name of two because those two are very imported, very expensive drugs. Zolgensma is one. Z O L G N G E N S M A. Zolgensma and will so. V I L T E P S O. These are two very important uh, drugs which are probably costing even something like uh, 16 crores. So the council has decided to grant exemption from GST for these two. Drugs which are suggested by Ministry of Health for treating muscular atrophy on the recommendation of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Department of Pharmaceuticals are also exempted from IGST on import for personal use.